Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use the YouTube editor. My name is Esther Dillard. I'm a professor at Bloomfield College in Bloomfield, New Jersey. And I'm going to show, give you a short explanation of how to use this editor if you do not have an editor or you just want to play around with the YouTube editor. Go to the uh, search bar at the top of your browser and type in youtube.com slash editor. It's just that simple. Once you get there, you should be directed to a screen which shows a blank YouTube um, editor screen. If not, you probably uh, don't have a YouTube account um, and you should create a YouTube account and then log in. For those of you who are logged in and you're like, how do I get there just from my own personal screen? You can actually go back to my channel and then go to video manager. And then if you go down to the, this to the left and you see the little camera and it says create, you press the arrow and go down to video editor. Right now you're an audio editor. You don't want audio library. You just go to video editor and you're back in the same space. On the left hand side of the screen you see a black screen. This black screen shows you exactly where what video that you're editing at the time that you're clicked on to whatever um, icon or uh, picture or whatever that you want to edit in your piece. This uh, area is where you'd have all of your video uh, that you are putting together and your audio live. This allows you to edit the things together and put them in, in a sequence. Up here on the top, you'll see it several chevrons and I'm going to show you or several icons and I'm going to show you what they mean. The camera basically shows you a list of what you have in your library that you've uploaded to YouTube. If you have nothing, this will be blank. The CC is Creative Commons. This allows you to see all of the videos that YouTube allows you to use free of charge and you won't get flagged if you use any of these videos in your piece because they are Creative Commons. So they're basically um, anything you can use on your own. The camera, if you click on this, this allows you to use uh, any photos that you can upload from your computer and you can use them in your piece as well. The musical note is um, royalty free music that YouTube provides that you can use in any of your pieces and you, all you have to do is just drag it underneath um, in this drag audio here space and you'll be able to use that um, underneath any of your videos that you use in this space. The bow tie is what is uh, for the transitions. It allows you to select several different transitions, um, cross fades, blurs, fades, wipes, all types of things that you can use from one video to another, or one video clip to another. The small letter A is where what you click for titles. You simply use these titles over the video. Um, they allow you to put them over the clips that you put in here, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So let's get started. If you don't have any videos uploaded, you can easily go to Creative Commons, as I said before. Click on that. I'm going to type in um, the Creative Commons search bar, Free Video Backgrounds. So I'm going to take the free video background that is here for nine seconds and I'm going to drag it click onto it, drag it into the videos, drag videos here, and let go. Now you have the video in the space. It is nine seconds long and I want to make it shorter. So what I'll do is I hover over the space with the three lines on either end of the video clip. I click on it and I drag to the left and make it shorter. Drag to the right to make it longer or go on the left, left hand side and do the same thing. Drag to the right to make it shorter or drag to the left to make it longer. I'm going to make it shorter and make it 4.0 seconds. That's my intro video. While you're clipped, uh, clicked onto the, 
the clip itself, it goes into a uh, kind of individual editor of the particular clip. It allows you to make any changes as far as um, brightness and contrast. This is an auto fix button, which doesn't allow you to do anything with it. Um, it's particular, it just auto fixes it. This allows you to slow motion it. Um, this can let you pan and zoom within the, uh, the video itself. It, it just does an automatic pan. It doesn't do anything special. Um, filters, it allows you to change filters to black and white, old fashioned, all kinds of different things that you can use. Text allows you to put text right over the video and it'll put video text at the bottom if you want to use it. You have to click this button, enable text to do it. And you'll see all the text is at the bottom. I don't want that. Audio, if there is audio on the clip, you can turn the audio down and it can just be silent. In this case, this is silent. It has no video, it's no audio. So then um, you don't have to worry about turning it down. So now that you understand how to just edit within the one clip, we can close it out. Use the little X in the right hand corner and close it. Now that we have the video in place, we're going to move on to, I'm going to select a photo from my photos that I've uploaded. I'm going to select a photo of students and teachers and administrators getting some food. I'm going to put it in the second slot. Now the photos will give you five seconds of that photo. You can't make it, well, you can actually stretch it and make it a little longer if you'd like. And it will go as long as you want it to. I'm going to put it at 10 seconds long. Okay. As you notice, the photo has black bars on the side. That means that the photo is not large enough to fit the entire space. But if you wanted to um, have the photo to fit, you'd have to edit it in Photoshop and check the dimensions for YouTube, which I believe is 1250 by 720. Um, I could be incorrect in that, but it, it's easy to look up as far as looking up the dimensions that a photo would fit the screen. If you'd like to edit the photo, you can just go to auto fix and it can give you a quick fix to the picture itself. You can also select brightness and contrast, change the brightness and contrast by playing around with these options. I'm not going to do anything with that. And if you want a uh, conservative um, Ken Burns look to your video, meaning zoom in and zoom out, you can just gla grab that, click onto that, and it'll start at a point and pull out of the photo um, till it's full screen at the complete 10 seconds. So we'll do that for you. And now I'm going to keep that as just as is, and I'm going to hit the close button in the right hand corner of the screen. Now we have two different um, pieces of um, content, and I'm going to put a transition between the two by going to the bow tie. And I'm going to do just a quick crossfade between the first video and the second, then the photo. So I'm going to crossfade between those two by putting it right between. All I did was grab it, drag it between the two pieces, and let go. And if you watch, you will see it will crossfade from the first video to my photo, and it extends. Now let's go into the right-hand corner of the screen, hit the X button, and that will close it. I'm going to go to the A. Uh, the small letter A allows you to put um, any titles on there. I'm going to just put a simple title on the middle of the first video, just showing that it's just a sample video. So I'm going to grab center title. All I did was click on it and I'm going to drag it over the area that I want a title. And if you look, it says enter text here. If you look in this little text box, all you have to do is rename it. I'm going to put um, test video for you tube editor one so that'll be my my title for this thing and now that I'm done I can actually make it bold if I want to I can make it italic if I want to if it's too big I don't like it I can make it small I can make it extra small I can make it microscopic or I can make it go back to what it was in the beginning which is medium right in the middle um, of course, the colors, you can just simply text the color and change it to whatever color that you like. I'm going to stick with white. 
and then I'm going to hit the X button and close it out. So now I have my title, a transition, and a photo. We're going to grab some video and show you how you can add video on there as well. I'm going to hit the close the stop button and go back to the video that I have in the camera section. I'm going to grab one of my students um, projects that they put together for a class and I'm going to drag that over into the section that's blank. Now because I don't want to have the entire 1 minute and 40 second video which has audio on it as you can hear, I'm going to hit the stop button and I'm just going to find a slice of video that I would like to use um, and how I do that is by hitting the close button here because once you put your video in that blank section it allows you to edit the video um, in terms of changing quick fixes, filters, um, changing the audio and such in this section but I don't want to do that right now I'm going to close that out and now it's at the beginning and it's just going to show me everything so I'm going to hit the pause button and if I select the video that I just put in and I, I hover over it I clicked onto it it's into it now I can drag this a little bit lower which means drag it so that it's a little bit shorter and I'm going to get a section where it has a little bit longer section of people just standing around eating. That's where I want it to be. So I'm going to get out of the editor of editing of that particular clip by closing it out in the corner. And if you see, there's some scissors on this. And this scissors is what I'm going to try and show you how to use. As it's going along, it's going to go to the next video and it's going to be audio on there. Watch. Okay, so we're going to. I am going to slice it just before this gentleman speaks. So I'm going to drag this line just before I see Mr. Kavon Walton's face. And then I'm going to click onto those scissors. And then once I click that scissors, there you go. Now it'll only use, I can only use this video if I want to, or I can use a combination of these two videos, but because I don't really need a long extended amount of time on this, what I'm going to do is drag down, press the X button on the right hand corner of the clip that I want to remove. And then I'm going to grab this video that I want and I'm going to extend it just a little bit further than what it was. So I have at least a few seconds of video of them eating, eating, eating. Okay, so now I don't want to have his voice on here. I want to remove his voice. So because I'm in the clip and I can click onto audio, I can turn the volume completely down and all I have is just the video. His voice is not there anymore. I press the close button and now we officially have a beginning, a photo that we've used, and we have, it's going to go right straight to video. Here we go, we have moving video. Now if I don't want it to cut right to like that, I can go back to the little bow tie, select crossfade, drag it over between the two clips, and now we have a crossfade between all of the different videos. I'm going to close this out so I can see it. It's going through the photo. And now it's going to crossfade to the video. Nice, easy transition. So we're going to close out this um, whole piece. Okay, welcome back. We're showing you the final edit of the uh, video that I started out with. I did a few more things while I put it on pause so that I could show you how much you can do with the YouTube editor. Um, let's show you really quickly. You can hear the music underneath. It's a video clip from the Creative Commons which goes to a transitional fade to a photo that I've taken then to video and you can see the uh, actual uh, Chiron or uh, text on the bottom. Events to make sure the students um, 
because we live in the 21st century it's about globalization it's not just import it's impossible so to, the audio as you can hear is uh, the sound I that so I pulled from a student's project like to reach out to it helps us better to uh, discover ourselves and also learn from others and I just did a transition from there to some more video and some more video that the student took a video of the event and now here's the close of the video um, you cannot fade the audio out so it's going to cut off you'll hear a quick cut off and um, that's basically how to use the YouTube editor. There are other editing programs that are online where you can use them for free. Um, there uh, are a number of them. I'm going to at least do a tutorial on one of them uh, to give other folks an opportunity to see that you can do use an online editor, put your voiceover on it as well as put music, and they give you sometimes more than one track, like uh, an un unlike the YouTube editor. So hopefully this will help you um, get up and running with the YouTube editor. I hope this was helpful. Please give me some positive comments or feedback. Um, and hopefully this was helpful for you. Thank you so much. Esther Dillard, a professor at Bloomfield College in Bloomfield, New Jersey.